Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw Project video, I have another amazing and neat design picked out by a book from Fox Travel Publishing. And the book in question is the ultimate book of scroll saw patterns. And I absolutely love this book. It is packed with a ton of content. And if you're just getting into scroll saw woodworking, I would highly recommend this book. It is packed with beginner intermediate and advanced scroll saw patterns so no matter what your skill level is on the scroll saw there's something in this book for you guys i've already got the pattern picked out and photocopied and attached to our material with clear packing tape and it's laying on the table saw in front of me but i will turn to the pattern and it's on page 93 and keep in mind it is an advanced pattern and what we're going with here is a nice turtle on a log and it's actually called the yellow bellied slider turtle and it says photocopy it 200 percent because it's got a ton of small detail in it I did not do that. I just laid the book directly on the scanner out here in the workshop and photocopied it without enlarging it because I feel confident with my skill set over on the scroll saw. And here we have it. As I said, it's already prepped and ready to go. And we're going to be using more half inch plywood that I have laying around in the workshop and you guys know I like using plywood for projects from time to time because it just throws it back to when I very first began scroll sawing and my grandfather was teaching me how to do cuts with half inch material and some of my first ever good projects were out of this material so it's always great to go back and reminisce on that while making a project but it has a lot of amazing little detail in it that's really going to bring the sea turtle to life once again this is half inch plywood and the backer board is going to be one quarter inch plywood and I've already masked off some of the area with basic painters tape here and we're going to spray paint this blue and we're going to do this first before we start drilling the pilot holes and scroll sawing so this will have time to dry out in the cool workshop since we're still in the cooler months but the reason I have started masking off my backer boards is so when we get to finishing and we glue this together I did not want that blue paint that's going to be the background to bleed out into the natural edge of the wood. That way when everything is fully completed, hopefully it will give the visual that it's one uniform piece of wood and that's always cool and an added feature to scroll saw projects. But since everything is prepared, let's move the camera, get this painted blue, get our pilot holes drilled, and get started. And as I said, we're going to begin by spray painting the backer board a nice blue color and letting that dry off camera. And then we can proceed to drilling out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting over on our half inch material here. And you will note that I have a backer board behind the scroll work to prevent blowout of the pilot holes on the reverse side. And there is several tiny details in this project. But over here on the scroll saw, we will, as always, take our time and let the blade do the work. I will be using a number 5 Ultra Reverse Tooth Blade for all of the scrolling on this project. And they will cut through the half inch material here exceptionally well with minimal chip out. And I will begin with some of the smaller details here. Again, I cut this project out almost completely up at the Kling Spores Woodworking Extravaganza and everyone liked how I was doing all of the tiny details here and as I've already said I just reiterated to everyone take your time and let the blade do the work and you will do a good job but I really wanted to come back and document the project from start to finish over here on the YouTube channel if you guys would like to try this project it is available in the Ultimate Book of Scroll Saw Patterns by Fox Chapel Publishing. And I will leave a link down in the description box below where that book can be picked up. It is packed full of amazing scroll saw patterns. And it does not take long at all to scroll this out if you are familiar with cutting out tiny details. Again, I'm using a number 5 blade, and you could go a lot smaller on a project like this, especially if you do not enlarge it. And if you are comfortable, you could, of course, also use spiral scroll saw blades. But I feel I am confident enough to bring this project to life as is. Again, we photocopied it right out of the book without enlarging it or anything like that. And I love the details in this project. They are simplistic in nature. You have the picture of the turtle 
on a log and it appears to be sticking out of a lake or pond or even a river and it just has some nice subtle details. We are now doing the final biggest internal cut here. I always like to save the biggest internal cut for last. That way the rest of the project and scroll work is supported. But we will come around here back to where we started at our pilot hole. And then all of the major scroll work will be done. But not all of the scroll work completely. We will of course trim it out here and that's simply following the four lines that make up the frame of the project. Still using that same blade. But once this was done, the scroll work was done for now and we could go right over to sanding with the 180 grit Klingspore Woodworking Shop sandpaper sheets and the vibrating palm sander here and sand both the front and back side of the project. And then I'll step over to the air compressor and the air hose and blow out the sawdust from some of those tiny details I mentioned. Just making sure everything is nice and clean. And then we can go to staining and I will use a light Minwax wood stain to stain everything and I'll make sure everything is saturated here with a sponge brush and then I'll wipe off the excess with a scrap piece of t-shirt material and hang it on a hook to dry by the heat and then when it was dry as well as the backer board it was time to glue the two pieces together and I will use medium grade CA glue and activator and even though CA glue basically cures instantly, I still like to use spring clamps here and strips of wood to add pressure to the center portions. And after it dried around five minutes, I came back and removed the clamps and the strips of wood. And then it was time to do the actual final bit of scroll work, which is trimming everything flush here. And then we will move over to the belt sander to quickly flush sand everything to give it the illusion that it's made out of one single piece of material. And then we can go over to staining for the final time, still using the same light colored Minwax wood stain to stain the borders and back. And once it was completely dry, both the front and back, it was time for a finish of several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and the project was complete. And here we have the completed rustic turtle on a log piece cut out completely from start to finish over on the scroll saw and it finished up amazingly well with some fantastic and intricate detail especially in the turtle itself there. Really really cool. It took me around an hour and change to scroll him out from start to finish. I just took my time and let the blade do the work. As I said there is some very intricate details in this piece and I project with patterns and designs like this lends itself to spiral scroll saw blades but I am not as proficient with those as I probably should be being a scroll saw artist. I just used my tried and true number five ultra reverse tooth blades and they done a great job and as always I took my time and let the blade do the work and I was as loyal as I could be to the cut line and remember the project was supposed to have been enlarged a little bit. I just photocopied it as is out of the book because I felt confident with my scrolling abilities to be able to do this project justice and I hope I have for you guys here on film. Again, this is the second time I've made this. The first time I made it, I made it in a public aspect in front of people up at the woodworking extravaganza this past October, but I wanted to bring it back and make it again and do it on film for you guys. The way I finished this was the rustic way that I like to finish scroll saw projects. I just stained the half inch plywood that is the scroll work. A nice light shade of Minwax wood stain is called Golden Pecan and I like it because it does not mask off the natural grain of the woods and I gave it a nice dark blue background to really make the details of the turtle, the log, and of course the ripples down here in the water 
pop for you guys, you know, with that dark background color. And I hope you guys like the tip of me masking off the borders now with the painter's tape before we spray paint them. Back in the day, I used to just spray paint the whole board, and I picked up doing the painter's tape trick over the Christmas break when I took my yearly break and I really wish I'd have been doing that all alone because now that doesn't allow the paint to seep out and bleed through the edge once you stain and clear coat everything and it really makes everything look like one nice uniform piece of wood and I've wasted some good what I felt was good scroll saw projects back in the day because the paint would just keep bleeding out through the edge here so I hope you guys like the new way with the painter's tape and everything and some of you guys have probably already picked up on that and have started using it even before I started using it. But I'm really happy with how this project come out. Turtles are amazing creatures. I have seen huge ones that's almost big as me down at the coast, you know, in the aquariums and all. And I've seen some here in my town, you know, at the parks and all, and especially near lakes that could fit in the palm of my hand. They come in all shapes and sizes, just like people do. So that's really, really cool. And they're part of the aquatic animal kingdom that I love, you know. So really, really neat. The project came out of the book Ultimate Book of Scroll Saw Patterns by Fox Chapel Publishing and the authors are Wayne and Jacob Fowler so thank you guys for that. I will leave a link down in the description box below where this book can be picked up from Fox Chapel Publishing and also keep in mind stores like Kling Sports Woodworking Shop also carry this in their book libraries at their stores as well to where you can just drive up and pick it up. So a really great book packed full of beginner, intermediate, and advanced patterns. And I highly encourage it if you're wanting to get into scroll sawing to pick this book up. It's packed with a ton of great content. But really, really cool. I had a lot of fun in today's video, and I hope you guys like watching me make this video. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name. As always, links to contact me, as well as all my social medias, will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one, and remember, Remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.